there's a Simpsons episode that I remember watch. I actually used to tape the, the shows, and I had a tape of Simpsons episodes, and there was one on there that always stood out. Uh, the Simpsons are doing sort of a variety show, and there's different characters singing songs, and then it cuts to Mr. Smithers. Crank that whip. <laughs> Licorice whip. I said whip it. Licorice whip. I'm, I would love to put out an album of every parody that was ever done. Clip it, drip it, drip <laughs> it, flip it, tip it. There's, there's been so many. And I bet. At, at a certain point, we were, we were just referring to ourselves as D Ho instead of <laughs> D Lo. But, but, uh, yeah. but it still gets, it still gets used for things. Now, now there's somebody just wrote in today that uh, some BMG. They said they said, well, we have another license for it today. So, so, uh, but it was a double-edged sword for me because I thought of ourselves as, I didn't even want to be a band. I thought, hmm. I, I started with a couple guys that were, I met at art school, and we were influenced by all these art movements from the 20s to the 30s in Europe. So we loved the futurists in Italy or the suprematists in Russia who made fun of um, evolution and, and of man's knowledge of the world and and uh, the Dadaists were our heroes, and uh, you know the the surrealists. We we loved all this stuff that was going on there, and and we wanted to be like, you know, we wanted to be like uh, there was an Art Nouveau and an Art de- Deco. Now we're going to be Art Devo, and we were oh, we were yeah. going to preach uh, de-evolution, we, and that's what we thought we were. We were doing, and we thought we were more like agitprop because we were make. There was no bands making films, and so we were making little films. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember. And, and, and we were like, we're making product for laser discs. Someday people will all have laser discs, <laughs> and that's how they'll listen to their. They'll buy forty fives that are laser discs. They won't ever. So artists are going to take over the music industry. Rock and roll is basically. It's nineteen seventy four, and rock and roll is about to die. It's going to be over and by 1975 so we want to be ready for it um i think devo spelled d-e-v-e-a-u would be like art nouveau art devo well we were art devo that's how we used to pronounce it and then uh i wrote this song called jocko homo where it ended up accenting the second syllable and that changed it because then everybody said devo instead of saying. did you try to correct it at first and then it kind of just Jerry was really concerned about it. Yeah. <laughs> Art DeVoe could be played on the radio show by Art LeBeau. Oh. Yeah. You know, it could be a whole really complicated and non-important sequ- <laughs> non sequitur. I'm glad you and, brought that up. Yeah, and thank he, you and so he could much. have on a whole posse of hoes. <laughs> uh, okay. And we could then move as a perfect segue to <laughs> Lego. Lego. Sure. And which Larry is, Curley. Yeah, yeah Larry Curley. <laughs> Larry Curley and, and Lego. <laughs> and Lego. 